वेलकम टू दिस स्पोकन ट्यूटोरियल ऑन उबन टू डेस्क टॉप यूजिंग दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल गेट फेमिलियर विद द उबन टू डेस्क टॉप ऑन द ग्नोम एनविरोनमेंट फॉर दिस पर्पज आई एम यूजिंग उबन टू टेन पॉइंट वन जीरो वट यू आर सीइंग नाउ इज अ उबन टू डेस्क टॉप यू कैन सी द मेन मेन्यू ऑन द टॉप लेफ्ट हैंड साइड कॉर्नर To open this, you can press Alt Play F1 or go to Applications and click on it. The application menu contains all the installed applications in a categorized manner. In this applications menu, let's get familiar with some important applications. So let's go to Applications, Accessories. calculator calculator helps perform arithmetic scientific or financial calculations let's open this click on calculator let us try some simple calculation type 5 into 8 and press equal to sign instead of pressing equal to sign you can also type the enter key now exit this calculator by pressing the close button now let's look at another application for that go back to applications and then go to accessories in accessories let's open text editor click on it so what you see right now on screen is the j edit text editor let me type some text here and save it type h e l l o space w o r l d to save it i can press control s or go to file and then click on save so let me go to file and then save now a small dialog box comes up it asks for the file name and the location in which the file has to be saved so let me type the name as hello dot txt and for location i select it as desktop and click on save button let's close this g edit now and check whether our file is saved on desktop or not so close this now on the desktop you can see the file hello.txt so our text file has got saved successfully let me open this file by double clicking on it wow our text file is open with our written text the internet has lot of information on gedit text editor there will be spoken tutorials on this topic at http://spoken-tutorial.org also let's close this text editor and let's see some other application from accessories that is terminal so let's move back to applications accessories and then terminal terminal is called command line because you can command the computer from here in fact it is more powerful than the gui now let's type a simple command to get a feel of terminal so let's type ls and press enter you can see it lists all the files and folders in the current directory so here it is displaying files and folders from home folder we will see later in this tutorial 
what the home folder is we will not spend any more time with the terminal now terminal commands are explained well in the linux spoken tutorials in http colon slash slash spoken dash tutorial dot org close the terminal now let's move on next application that is firefox web browser let's open it for that go to applications internet firefox web browser click on this firefox is used to access world wide web now you can see that firefox is open let's go to gmail site here for that go to address bar or press f6 i am pressing f6 now yep i am in the address bar now i press backspace to clear the address bar i type www.gmail.com as i type firefox may suggest a few possibilities you may choose one of these or type in the complete address and press enter firefox could connect to the website directly or it could ask for a login and password now let us type the username and password and press enter now you can see gmail web page open on the screen so let's close this and move on to the next one now let's go to the office menu that is applications office then further in this office menu we have open office word processor spreadsheet presentation There is a lot of information on these topics in internet. Our website will also have spoken tutorials on these topics in the future. Then let's explore sound and video menu. For that go to application sound and video. In this we have one important application that is movie player. It is used to play videos and songs. By default it plays the open format video files only so let me play one sample file from my pen drive now i am inserting my pen drive in an usb slot pen drive is open if it does not open you can access it from the desktop let us click the icon at the bottom left hand corner if we click on it it shows only the desktop if we click this again it shows the desktop along with the files already open we can go to the desktop also by pressing windows key and d simultaneously please note that the required key combination to go to the desktop used to be control alt d in the previous versions of ubuntu the user must be prepared to handle such variations from version to version let us now press windows and d here you can see that your pen drive is present on the desktop let's open it by double clicking on it now i select the movie file to play it that is ubuntu humanity.ogv here is my file now I double click it to open it. It opens in movie player by default. Let's close this. Now let's see some more important things on this desktop. For that, let's go to places menu this time. In this, we have home folder. Let's open it. Click on home folder. Every user has a unique home folder in Ubuntu. We can see that the home folder is our house where we can store our files and folders. Unless we permit others cannot see them. More information on file permissions is available on the Linux spoken tutorials available at http://spoken-tutorial.org. In our home folder 
we can see other folders such as desktop documents downloads videos etc in linux everything is a file let's open the desktop folder by double clicking hey we can see the same hello.txt file what we saved from the text editor is here so this folder and the desktop are the same let me close this folder now aren't you bored to see the same thing of desktop let's change it for that go to system preferences appearance click on it here on the themes tab we have many pre-installed themes let us select clear looks as soon as you click on that you can see the changes have applied to your machine you can see it clearly by clicking the desktop icon present at the bottom left hand corner let us go back to the folder by clicking this icon again play with these themes whichever you like and click on close button to exit this brings to the end of this tutorial in this tutorial we have learned about the ubuntu desktop the main menu and the other icons visible on the ubuntu screen spoken tutorial is a part of the talk to a teacher project supported by the national mission on education through ict more information on this